Hi, I'm Benny the Jet Yukitas. And Richard Dorn, man, <laughs> it's good to us. You know, we go back a long way, but you know, actually we were just talking about competition. You know, in the competition, you know, the competition today is nothing like the competition back then. And you know, we were talking about the importance of competition because without the competition, first of all, it gives students an idea hey, of where they're at as far as putting technique together under pressure. And so, I mean, you can have different many ways of competition, whether you do in forums, whether you do in teams, or whether you do it one-on-one. -on -one. I mean, what's your thoughts on that? No, absolutely. And I think we talked about there's a lot of discussion about the value of competition. And it usually relates back to, well, I only do reality-based techniques. I only want it for the street, <clears throat> which is a valid comment, I think. But if you look at it, you know, I once did a seminar with 80 people and I said, put up your hand. Anyone that's had a street fight in the last 12 months, probably two people put up their hand. So I thought, well, then if you're only doing martial arts for that benefit, you're wasting a lot of time. What about the sport? What about the involvement, the teamship and everything that comes with competing in a safe environment with rules? It's consensual, I get it, but you're still, as Sensei says, pressure testing yourself. You're putting yourself on the line, we call it daring to participate, which is very difficult for a lot of people. People are very good at arm chairing what they would do, how they would do, they'll watch a boxing match or whatever. Well, why doesn't he do this or that? As we know, it's a very different situation when you're the one in the ring or on the mat. So I think to put yourself under that sort of pressure in a safe environment is fantastic because who wants, the only other way you could do it if you're talking reality is to go in the street and get into a street fight. Well, we were also talking about that earlier. That's a lose-lose situation, whether I win or lose, it's not a good thing. So to be in a consensual match, whether it's boxing, jujitsu, whatever it is, MMA, you have a referee, you have rules, you have restrictions, you've got people you can tap out. You know, it, it, it's a safe environment for you to test your martial arts skills. Is it the same as actual reality-based? No. You know, it's we're stepping back as we, as we know, say a karate competition, I step back, I bow, I step away, hands come up. I've now agreed to a consensual match with the person opposite me very different from being in what we call a conversation range in the street not having a hands up the pre-fight is involved all the adrenal adrenal switches you get adrenal dump your pulse goes up sometimes up to 200 beats a minute to be able to react under that sort of pressure is a very different situation but again how do you do that without actually in a street fight which is the last thing you want to do that's a long-winded way of saying i'm very much for competition the journey of getting to the mat, you know, we, I, I, I love, I find that I, I competed once in Hawaii as a purple belt uh, in the Pan Am's Jiu Jitsu. What I was well aware of, it, what was important for me was the weeks leading up to the day that you actually get on the mat and compete. That's where the mind plays tricks, right? Am I good enough? <laughs> Am I gonna get tapped out in two seconds? My girlfriend, my wife, my friends think I'm tough. All these self-defeating kind of negative stuff coming in your mind and that's the value of being able to deal with that, learn to sort of push yourself through and actually step onto the mat because since I'm far more than I'll ever know knows that when that bell rings, you just do what you do, you know? So, I, you know, there's a, there's a lot of advantages to it. And again, I just want to emphasize that, yes, it is different from reality-based, the distancing, the way you shape up, the pre-fight, that's a, that's a different area, but. Well, we're talking about two different things though, because again, we're, once we're talking about the reality of it in the street and the reality of it in a dojo, because in a dojo, you feel safe. Exactly. You always feel safe because you know if it gets out of hand, since yeah. they will stop it because yes. again, you don't mm -hmm. want to get anybody hurt. But in the street, nobody's stopping. Mm -hmm. Everybody's just going. In competition, eh, it's still nerve-wracking, but again, you know it's still safe. That's what Because I'm somebody's going to stop it if it gets out of hand. Yep. And if there's any kind of bloodshed going on, it's stopped and so forth. Somebody get disqualified. 
What are your thoughts, um, uh, both of you, as, as instructors of you are, in katas, wazas, or competition forms, or yeah. traditional forms? Well, you know, in, in competition form, uh, in katas and so forth, and I mean, the value of it, first of all, to learn how to do kata is to be able, it's like a dance of death, as they put it so-called back then, but it was a way of actually getting your mind together and putting different combinations and give, telling a story in, in your own way in open air without. And sometimes they have katas with people, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. doing katas against Bunkai each other. Bunkai in Japanese, That's it's right. the explanation of the moves within the, the form of the kata. Mm. That's right. So I, I believe that uh, kata, I mean, it's beautiful when you have people really expressing and showing their forms. I mean, back then it was one way of competition, but the competition of today in forms, I mean, backflips, uh, half, <laughs> I mean, yeah. they're doing yeah. triple somersaults and so forth, and I said, oh. <laughs> You know why I like it? I, I um, you've probably heard of Rodney King, you know, South African friend, and he, uh, he put a little um, clip out once that really struck a chord with me where he's talking about martial arts, that so many people in martial arts are into the martial, but there's not the same balance of the art. You know, and I find kata is like that. You know that it's really you against you. It's the discipline of every part of your body being under control of your conscious mind, the way you direct it. It's going for perfection in movement, in balance transfer, in power, in intent, or kime, as we call it in the Japanese arts. Mm. And how good is that? And and if somebody was to say, well, that's useless, then I would argue, well, then why do yoga? Why play chess? There are so many activities that have nothing to do with competition, but involve mind body. And I think kata is exactly that. And again, there's nobody else you, except the bunkai, as we said, explanation. But yeah. for kata, you walk out, it's just you expressing your art and the discipline that you show with the expression of your art. And I think that's a fantastic thing. Well, I mean, you're talking about 80%. You're talking mm -hmm. about 80% is mental, you know, and 20% of it is physically that you're going to do and, and show it physically and uh, telling the story. But a spiritual aspect of internal was more of being able to have the confidence and, and put that fear base behind because you're actually showing a dance mm -hmm. of how you're feeling. And it's a different way of dance of striking, kicking, and so forth. And, and so God does right now, you know, whether you do it by yourself or whether you do it team mm. or whether you mm. do it with, a, or with opposite people you know and it ha distant. has a lot you know uh, has a lot to do with the art and the way you're actually showing you know yourself and again just to emphasize what we both mentioned it's safe look how many people that come into a school are lacking confidence everything else the last thing they want to do is to get into an actual physical confrontation. So to allow the avenue of expressing it in kata or forms or anything else as a way of participating and gaining confidence, I think that's fantastic, you know, and as you say, safety is important. Same with competitions. We said to have a sensei, a referee or whatever, mm -hmm. rules consensual sparring as we call it. It's essential, you know, otherwise you're not going to last very long in the arts anyway. True. Very true.